everybody out there in YouTube land. Jake the One Man Band is back again. We are playing some more Ruby Veil of Darkness. Now, if you saw my former episode, the um, episode before this, I left a comment saying that there is a schedule of getting together with certain members of Team Ruby and Team Juniper that I didn't know about at the time. Now I do know, and I now know that today is the day that Blake is available. So, I'm just going to see what's in this place. Or up. Flame Dust Crystal. The thing is, I don't know if I really need consumables all that much. I mean, because I've pretty much just powered through like anything, but, um... Uh, I do not think I really need to be in the commercial district right now, but we are going to head back to Beacon Academy, head back to the library, because that's where Blake is, and we're going to hang out with Blake for the day. This is Volume 1, Blake. Are you sure you're not Sun? Because you look like Sun, except I think you might have boobs. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's just a fan fanfic, a gender bent thing. Okay, let's head in here. This is the library! This is where Blake is. Alright, Blake, you are my favorite character in Volume 1, so please let this be Volume 1, Blake. Hello. You're a friend of Ruby's, correct? I was just gonna do some reading if you'd like to join me. Well, I think that would be just swell. Alright then, have a seat. As she entered the garden, she became immersed in its divine glory. Blake is reading the book aloud, quietly, and but loud enough for you to hear, so I'm just like, read. <laughs> Kinda creepy on my part. <laughs> Do you like to read too? I read plenty, occasionally. The thing is, there was a time in my life, it was about, I don't know, three years ago, where I would just burn through books. I love books so much, but I just don't really have all that much time to read anymore. So, uh, like, occasionally is more like how I am now, but I just love books. So, and if we count all the audiobooks that I listen to, it would be plenty. Because that's kind of like what I've gotten into is audiobooks, just because they're, um, they're easier. Because I drive a lot. I drive to work and from work all the time, and it's like a half hour drive every day. So it's like, I get to listen to a half hour of a book, so it's it's pretty good. Well, there's a bookstore in town. We should go sometime. Heck yeah, I'd go to a bookstore in town. That's what I always do, Barnes & Noble. It's my, it's, my, it's my favorite store, besides GameStop and used game stores, but that's beside the point. <laughs> okay, then. We shall go when we have the chance. All righty. Despite her quiet nature, you can tell Blake is excited. Oh yeah, getting friends. You are now friends with Blake Belladonna. Very nice. I'm going to go back to continue reading. I'll see you later. Okay. You and Blake part ways and return to your rooms. It's the next day. We have class today. Lecture, it lasts forever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, woo! No more lecture time. I wonder, like, whose class we're in. That would be fun to know. Okay, so today is Thursday. Thursday, I think the schedule said is Jean, and I think he's in the main lobby. That's what people have been saying. People have been giving me notes, and thank you guys very much for uh, giving me notes, but I do not see a Jean. Oh! Because you're certain you may choose between a first forever fall. Okay. Uh, no. No, thank you. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the main hall. Or does it mean like, oh, main lobby, that's what they said. But that looked like the main lobby, so. That leads to other dorms. So. Uh, anyway, let's keep looking for Jean. Maybe by main lobby it means like... Well, no, this is Beacon Courtyard. Let's head back inside and see what this says. Lobby! Yeah, so Jean should be here, and you're not Jean. Just check all the corners really quick. 
Yeah, to turn, turn. You're not Jean. Of course you're not. You got like red hair, and you have green hair like mine. You, you stole my hair. Stole my hair. Gotta kill him. All right. Well, I cannot see Jean, but let's keep looking just in case. Cause me and Johnny boy, we. Oh, Johnny boy! Johnny boy! Hey man, want to do something? Heck yeah, I do. Friendship rank one. Would you like to hang out with Jean? Heck yeah, I would. All right, let's go. There has to be something to do around here, right? You and John find a concession stand. Yeah, and you are enjoying some cold drinks. Dr. Pepper for me, please. After the past week, I could get used to this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I know it's Beacon, but who knew we'd be thrown into a life or death situation on the second day? While we're on the subject, uh... What you did in the Emerald Forest was pretty spectacular. Oh, well, I thank you, sir. I have to have Pura unlock my aura just so that I wouldn't die at the first claw or fang that came my way. Strength isn't everything. You do know why you leave Team Juniper, right? Mm, I'll do that. Uh, what do you mean? You're a good strategist. Thank you! That's what I've always said. John is the strategist of the group. What do you mean with, what, you mean with the Death Doctor? I just acted on instinct, I suppose it did work. But a strategic, a strategist still relies on his team to do the fighting, and I'm not really happy with that. Uh, you're a strategist and also a tank, dude. You can like tank so much damage. You're like the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the Ruby world. Uh, I've got to be able to fight alongside my team, not just tell them what to do. I have to get stronger. You sense Jean's drive to become stronger. Friendship rank two, mother truckers. Anyway, let's go back. I have to get some schoolwork done and I've been procrastinating enough as it is. You and Jean return to Beacon chatting and finishing your drinks. Alrighty, it's Friday and I got class today. You sit through the lecture and it's boring, it's boring and it's done. I don't understand why they even do that. I mean, it, it just seems like it wastes time. Why not just say, like, you go to class and now your time is over? It's like, why go through, like, three different whatevers? All right, so, Friday, I have been told, is Yang. Yang is on Fridays. And I think they say that she's in the same place Jean is supposed to be. So, the main lobby, as they say. But, last time we checked, he was not in the main lobby, and he was actually in the hallway. So we're gonna go check on the hallway. Alrighty, let's go here. I just gotta go up the stairs, get, gotta get my cardio for the day. Go over here, Yang! Yo, Yang! I wanna hang out. Yang! Yang? Oh, well, she's not here. Time to search! <laughs> Alrighty, so we're starting our search for Yang. Now, I have been told that Yang might be blocked from being a friend with, if you will, for a while until you become good friends with Ruby. But I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. So. We're just going to check and make sure. We're checking over by Team Coffee's place. They still won't talk to me. Where's Velvet? I need to talk to Velvet. Okay, and Fox still won't talk to me. I think it's really cool that they're like added into the game, even if it's just like an Easter egg or whatever you wanna call it. I still think it's cool. Okay, so you're diff. Oh, you haven't found it yet. Oh, okay, that- oh yeah, that's right, I need to look for his sword thing that's in the Emerald Forest. Well, if I can't find Yang, that's what we'll do today. We'll go to the Emerald Forest and we'll look for, uh, that guy's weapon. None of these people look like Yang. And I don't think she would be in a library, that's for geeks. It's for geeks and for Blakes. 
for people like me who actually like reading. Alrighty. I don't think she's in the mess hall. The schedules that you guys have sent me have said that Nora and Ren will be in the mess hall on a certain day. So, she's not in there. Oh, and some other good news. Uh, since I was so sad about uh, missing out on Weiss on Tuesday, I've actually heard that uh, Weiss may be um, blocked off to becoming a friend, kind of like Yang, until you get to a certain point. So that kind of makes me happy because I'm like, I don't, I didn't want to miss out on Weiss. Weiss is my favorite. Okay, there's Glinda, and she gave us a a mission, right? Yeah. The Deathstalker offspring. You look like another son. These two look like Street Fighter characters. Okay, that's just the rooftop. Okay, we've searched practically everywhere, and we haven't found Yang, so I'm just going to assume that Yang is still locked off because we need to become better friends with Ruby. That's what I'm going with. That's what I'm agreeing with. I'm agreeing with what you guys said. So, uh, let's head to the main lobby and I'll see if I can catch a airship to the Emerald Forest to find that guy's weapon and maybe kill some Deathstalkers. Alrighty, we can use the computer, she said. Would you like to request an airship? Yes! Uh, take me to the Emerald Forest, please. Alrighty, here we are. This looks like base camp. Alrighty, my friends. We need to figure out who our team is going to be. Uh, formation. So, we definitely need me. Uh, change. Alrighty. I mean, I like Nora and Ren a lot, but I feel like I just need to trade them out. Let's put Ruby and let's also bring in Weiss. That way we have some hard hitters. Then we'll we'll level these guys up and then once they're like leveled up a good amount, we'll then uh, get Nora and Ren back in as well as Yang and Blake. So that's our formation. Now he said the North eastern part of the Emerald Forest, so let's start to go north and east, which is this way. I can't believe this guy lost his weapon. Alrighty. Oh, speak of the devil, right when I was about to say, we haven't run into any Grim yet. Nope, we did. So many Grim, and they're just little rodent Grim. We can just easily slice through them. Just like that. John and Pira leveled up! Alrighty. We have... Oh! We found a big Ursa! Focus all fire on the Ursa! Ice dust. Oh, dang, did we kill one of the Ursa without- oh, not, not the Ursa, one of the Grim without me knowing? Whoops. Semblance, Ice Glyph. Come on. Ah, oh, almost, almost dead. Ruby finishes it off. Now to just kill the Grim Beast, which is just easy pickings. Just like that. John got the final hit. Very nice. Alrighty. Alrighty, so... That's as far as this one goes, and then it continues south. So I think, think we have to go back, and we need to find another way. Like, keep going up. Since we can keep... Oh! We found a cave! Maybe that's where the Deathstalker is. The Deathstalker offspring that we must destroy. I mean, John and Pira should definitely know. They're the ones that came across the 
Deathstalker cave, right? Is there any hieroglyphics on the wall? No. Let's go inside. Cave. Okay, we're just walking in. This is the Deathstalker nest. Prepare for combat! -na 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 -na. Whoa, lots of Deathstalkers. Okay. But, good thing they're all small. Dang it, they attack fast. They do not hit very hard, though, it looks like, so... Oh man, this is just gonna be... They just attack so much! Sight Strike. We need to just get their numbers down. Look, come on, we need to attack faster than this. Or else they'll just eventually whittle us down and take us out. I mean, it'll take a long time for them to do that, but still. No, you need to use her semblance. Ice Glyph. Boom, yeah. I wonder if, um, Fire Glyph would work better against Deathstalkers. I mean, an Ice Glyph trapped a Deathstalker in, um, Players in Pieces it, during Volume 1, but was it really that effective? It really just trapped it. So let's go to Fire Dust. Like I said before, Weiss is our hard hitter. She has that that uh, semblance that just hurts very hard. Maybe I need to like buy dust in order to unlock Weiss. I mean, that would make sense to me. Okay, so fire dust didn't seem to do much. So. Katana dance! Dance with them katanas, boy! Ooh, yeah! Quick shot. Man, Pure just does not do that much damage. Maybe we need to activate her semblance of polarity. Charge everyone up. Shield bash. Okay, it's stunned! That is actually very good. Okay, so we can't activate her polarity yet. We need to get her TP up to 40 for that, which kind of sucks. Charge everyone up again. There. Now next time we come to... Alrighty. Not dust, semblance. Another fire glyph. It just doesn't do that much damage. Okay, activate polarity. Oh, dang! That's that's a group buff! I didn't know it was a group buff. Holy crap, that is amazing. I did not know that her semblance would get everyone just a freaking upgrade. That's freaking awesome. I love that! Man, so many new stuff that you can learn! Bash that one. Oh, it failed. Dang it. Okay, Spear Slash. Okay, we're starting to do good damage. You know what, Weiss? Just attack. Let's see what your attack does. Okay, not not too bad. Attack three enemies two times? Holy crap, that is a good attack. That. Why haven't I been using this the whole time? Bonus activated. EXP times two! That's gonna help a lot, actually. Finish that one off. Alrighty, we we got this. We totally got this. And no, it failed again. Katana dance. Just that uh, that big attack that that my character has. It takes a lot out of him. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Okay, so this one is resistant to the to the fire dust. And slash. Yes! Kill all those Deathstalkers. Alrighty. Everyone leveled up. And we got a thousand Lien. You should report back to Glinda. Awesome! Okay.
Okay, so that's it. That is it. Alrighty, uh, let's take a look back at the missions, the big guns. Fellow student... And he said Northeastern, right? I'm fairly certain he said Northeastern, but we're going to still look around just in case. Let's look to the Northwest. Wait! I'm going Northeast now. I'm an idiot. I had my freaking... I... I'm an idiot, because there it is. It's right there. I had my directions all out of whack. I thought I was so freaking smart! And I'm pretty sure there's comments now in the comment section saying, Um, Jake, you know you're, like, completely wrong on your directions, right? And I'm just gonna look like a complete idiot now. <sighs> but it's okay. Because Ruby leveled up and we found the weapon. Alrighty. This must be the weapon. A shotgun with an axe on the front. Well, that was easy. Wait. You're being ambushed! Oh, no! By two Beowulfs. Oh, gee, willikers me. I am so scared. It's two Beowulfs. They're gonna hurt me so bad. Hurt me plenty, Daddy. Come on. And we just destroy them with our basic attacks. Just like that. It's easy. Weiss leveled up! Which I'm happy for. Must have been the same ones that attacked the students. You should return this to him. Okay. So we got it. We killed the Deathstalkers, and we got the weapon. Now we can head back to Beacon. Hopefully this is the right way back to the campsite. Alrighty, we got some Grim Beast. Let's just finish him off really quick, because we don't want to spend too much more time here. Don't want to kill Grim all day long. I mean, it's fun and all, but I'm just saying. We got stuff to do. I need to get to more days. I need to make more friends. Alrighty. Let's head down this way. I'm pretty sure it was this way. Oh, we got Big Ursa. Everybody attack the Ursa. Get that ice dust going. Ice dust is good against this guy. Spear slash, do it. Twin slash. Alrighty, we may kill it before Weiss can even use her ice. What? What the heck is going on? Okay. M my game crashed. Alrighty, we've made it back to the Emerald Forest base camp, and thank goodness for autosaves, because I would have lost almost a half hour <laughs> of progress if I had, um, uh, if there hadn't been. So, we have, we are extracted, we're now back to the lobby. Everyone's asleep now, of course. So, we're gonna head back to our room and go to sleep, and then we will finally hit our first weekend. Now, I have been told by people that weekends are when we can find, I think, um, Pira and then Ren and Nora? So, it is Saturday. You do not have class today! Woo! Let's play some video games! Would you like to play Lost Dungeon? Mm, oh, do, I didn't mean to say yes. Alrighty, my friends, so I figured out that if I exit this game, I will lose an entire day, no matter what. So, I might as well play the game and figure out what's going on. Oh, bats! Kill the bats, stop the bats, make them go and not come back. And so Jake proceeded with the dungeon crawl. Not sure where he was going, or what would be in front of him. All he knew was that he must go north to defeat death. However, he fought many adversaries, orcs, spiders, scorpions, and the occasional skeleton, and even a Medusa-like creature. However, his adventure ended when he came across a vampire. Well, uh, that was a thing. I, I played the game until I was eventually defeated by a vampire, and then the game was over. I guess I lost the game within the game, which means I lost the first tier of the game, but, um, 
for the most part, I just really see that as a bit of a dungeon crawl and an e like an XP getter. But really, to be honest, it isn't really all that important to me to get a bunch of XP or whatever. It's like I would much rather like spend time with the people and like get move the story forward. And that's the one thing about the these games that like always really get me is that it's um oh we're we're going to give you this game and it's gonna have all the like a whole bunch of battles, a whole bunch of stuff. But then it's just there's way too much stuff and without any really good stuff, if you know what I mean. But I'm gonna end this episode here. I think we made good progress. We kind of missed out on Pyrrha today. But we'll pick up with um, Ren and Nora tomorrow, and then we'll keep going through the um, appropriate days, hanging out with people, and getting some good friendships. So, until next time, my friends, I want you to like and favor if you've enjoyed, subscribe, of course, if you feel inclined to, and I'll see you guys next time I'm out there in YouTube land. Be a good... <clears throat> something in my throat. Be a good person. Tip your way, Jesus. Keep moving forward. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah!